Welcome back to season three, episode three of the Life at Disney podcast, Disney College Program miniseries. I'm Holly. And I'm Destiny. And Holly. Destiny. I'm thinking we're having such a great season so far. The best season. Oh my gosh. It's been so much fun. We've had such amazing guests. I have loved getting to hear everyone's stories. People have shared advice about the Disney College Program. I'm learning a lot. Are you Mm -hmm. feeling like you're learning a lot? So much. Like we're getting immersed in every single story that we've been able to listen to yeah and we're not done yet we're not we are not done yet we are just getting started because today we are going to be talking to a disney programs representative and a disney college program recruiter who you might see back on your campus this season what yep is that happening again yep back to campus for the first time in forever it feels like it yeah how long has it been do you know i don't know but i think i know who does yeah our guests yeah let's bring them in (laughs) All right. Well, we are so excited to have you both here. Welcome to the show, Savan and Maya. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Happy to be here. So excited. Maya is a current student at the University of Central Florida and a Disney programs representative and a Disney College program alum. While Savan is currently a recruiter supporting Disney College program, and she'll be talking with us a little bit about her experience on the Disney College program where she was a haunted mansion maid. So welcome Uh, to the show. So So we'll start with you, Savan. Savan, what is Disney Programs Representatives and what is a Disney College Program Recruiter? And can you tell us a little bit about going back to campus? Absolutely. So I'm going to kind of answer your question backwards. Okay. Um, So we are finally coming back to campus, going to a few select schools like UCF. Um, We're super excited. Uh, We'll be engaged with faculty and students, telling them all about the college program Mm -hmm. through information sessions, learning engagements, and tabling. And then Maya here and a couple other reps are going to be doing kind of something similar where they're keeping that Disney program spirit alive while we're on and off campus. So they'll be doing classroom pop-ins, fun different engagements and creative things that are tailored to their campus and their experience. So that way they have that fresh, that fresh perspective. So they're going to be able to give that to students and faculty alike. Love that. And I know you're a recruiter, right? And mm-hmm. you are going to work really closely with Maya. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about that dynamic and what that's going to look like? Oh, absolutely. So I get to partner with Maya and a couple of her other peers, and we are going to find fun and engagements that will kind of unlock Disney on their campus. So whether that be games or tabling sessions where they'll have swag to give out and do fun things like that, we'll just be working together, sharing ideas and making sure that Disney is top of mind when students are thinking about where should I do my next internship? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I wish the Disney College program came to my campus like that. I know. It sounds like so much fun. Yeah. That's cool. And then, so Maya, I'm curious, how did you get started with Disney programs? So after my Disney College program ended, I was hoping to extend, but that full-time schedule wasn't going to work with what I had going on at this point in my life because I was going to be a full-time student back at UCF. So I got an email about applying to be a Disney programs representative, and they told me the scheduling for that, and that seemed a perfect fit for what I was going to be doing next semester. So I applied and I got an interview and then I I got the role and I was really excited about it and it's working wonderfully right now. Yay. Okay, wait. So I am curious because this is, I mean, it's not new. We've had it before, but it is is new now because it hasn't been a thing for a while. Mm -hmm. What do you get to do as a programs representative? So I work with Savan. She's the best recruiter. (laughs) And we basically, we just have meetings and we discuss what engagement activities we want to do on the campus. So whether that's like coming up with tabling ideas or maybe like for swag, we want hair clips, et cetera. Like we just come up with ideas and- Was that a hint? It was a hint. I feel like it was a hint. It was a hint. I brought it up a few times. What kind of hair Um, clips? We might be able to make it happen. (laughs) I know know a few people. Yeah, Yeah, but hair clips, I mean like calls. Yeah, we can make some calls maybe. But no yeah, so we just work with like Savon making engagement ideas okay. and promoting Disney programs on our campus. Yeah. Have you been able to do any yet or are you just getting started so, into it? Yeah, we are just getting started right now. Okay. We're all just kind of like in new waters trying to figure out how this is going. Ah, yeah. okay. And Savon, 
What do you have planned on your itinerary this year as far as getting back on campuses? Oh, well, I'll be hitting a couple schools, including UCF. So okay. I'm super excited. Um, we have a couple learning. So giving people the information about uh, how to interview, uh, resume writing, and even lessons in leadership and just kind of giving that Disney touch. So really excited to talk about those on the various campuses we'll be going yeah. to um, and just getting to, you know, hopefully treat them to lunch and fun things like that. So they'll be helping me carry a lot of things as well. Wait, so you're telling me not only you're going to get back on campus and share opportunities about getting started with the Disney, but you're also going to be giving them tips and tricks to like be successful in getting in? Oh, absolutely. Wow. Because let's be honest, uh, we want Disney to be top of your mind and right. we want you to come here and do a college program. But sometimes you just need to know how to ace that interview or maybe you're not sure what your resume should look like. So we can give you those little tips, tricks and then those little meet and greets. Or maybe your faculty, you know, you need a semester off to do it and you, maybe you need them to talk to us so we could tell them what the college program is all about. Because as you know, Disney's constantly evolving yeah. and so is our college program. So the things that I had on my college program is not what Maya had. And, <laughs> you know, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Like those learnings are incredible. So we're going to give them a little sneak peek. I love that. So what might that look like? Like if I'm a student in college right now and I'm like, oh, this all sounds really good. How do I find you guys on a campus? Oh, that's a really good question. Are you at like career fairs? So Is there a sign up? We are doing our own kind of pop-ups. We okay. only have a select few schools we're going to this semester because we're just rolling out. We're just starting back up. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're looking for us, we will have flyers promoting. Sometimes we're working with career services and we'll be doing a couple classroom pop-ins. So um, we are not targeting one specific major. That is yes. absolutely are for everyone. So yeah. anyone who wants to do the college program, please like <laughs> come do the college yeah. program. But um, if you're looking for us, we're not hard to find. If you check on Disney programs.com you can see all the things that we are up to but uh keeping tabs on our social media as well mm -hmm. is a great way to see what we're doing if we're out and about and then if you can't find your recruiters this is what the reps are for because they're going to be there to help you out and like i said they could also do the classroom pop-ins and meeting with faculty and yeah. stuff like that so if recruiters aren't on campus and your disney programs reps are they're going to be that source of information absolutely that's awesome and so when we think about just going back on campus and you know getting new into this work um, you're new into this kind of role too, right? Yes, I so am. So what has your perspective been like from what you used to do before? And you could talk a little bit about that if you can. And then kind of just shifting into this recruiters. We love our recruiters, right? You guys are always on our side and in our, in our corner, right? You want us to be successful. So what has that been like for you? Luckily, it hasn't been too hard of a transition because I was an Epcot Park arrival. Okay. Uh, shout out to my old team. Um, <laughs> I was an Epcot girly for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, I've been there since my management internship, which is now the DHLP, I believe uh, it's called. So. Oh, so the Disney Hospitality Leadership Program. Yes. Oh, okay. I started in custodial and then I got status full time as a leader mm -hmm. and I stayed in custodial up until 2020 and I got switched to attractions, which then eventually led me to park arrival. So I am leading a team and now I have reps to lead again. So that is great because I get to help them grow, reach their goals. Yeah. And then we get to partner and tap into the creative sides of what we want to do and accomplish mm -hmm. um, and just the travel bit is the part I'm really excited for yeah. because, you know, we get to see different yeah, places. I know. <laughs> I was like, I just want to see places and college campuses. I don't care what anybody says. They're super fun. Yeah. Um, they're also different. You can see truly the the characters of whatever a school has. And I'm just, I'm curious. I want to meet everyone and just learn from them. So more of like tapping into just learning why people want to do the college program, why people want to know about Disney. I didn't know about the Disney college program yet. I applied to it on right. a whim. So it's one of those things where my friend told me about it. We were going to do it together. And then I did it alone, but I was so grateful to have the opportunity. The same thing happened to me though. Really? I actually applied with my sister um, but we both thought it was only for the summer. And then we found out it was also the, the fall. So she wasn't able to do it, but I still did it. But the same thing actually too, because I, I heard of the Disney College program, but I thought it was basically the same thing as doing part-time, full-time. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the difference. Mm -hmm. So I had applied for part-time, full-time. And then they were like, what about the college program? I was like, isn't that the same thing? <laughs> and they're like, no. And so then I applied for the college program. <laughs> See, I get that. Cause yeah. literally when I was in school, I just graduated and I was just trying to bide my time. I didn't want an adult yet. Yeah. And I had a lot of theme park experience anyway. So I was like, dad, I'm going to Disney. He was like, what? And he was like, no, you're not. And I said, 
I got accepted. <laughs> so like, we're going and I never came home. So no. I stayed. <laughs> so he was like, okay, it worked out. Glad it worked out in the long run, but it's just such an amazing program. And I've seen so many people's journeys expand from the college program. I have friends in finance. I have friends in yellow shoes. I have friends at National Geographic and we've all done something with the okay. college program. <laughs> right? I'm, trying, I'm not going to lie, She's National flexing. Geographic. Hello. I'm just saying, I'm trying to go to South Africa too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one of those things where there's so many possibilities and we really do change lives. I know it's the motto, but it's a lifestyle at this point because I'm living it. So. Wow. Okay. Cool. okay. Okay. You're popping off. Where did we get that? Like, like written down oh somewhere. So many yeah. questions of on today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to have a one-liner shirt, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't remember the first one you said earlier. It was so good, though. <laughs> Savon, she just has well, all the oh words my God. Good thing. We're just going to keep sitting here and we're going to keep listening because I'm <laughs> yeah. sure there's going to be more from both of you. Um, okay, but I love what you said about like when you're at Disney, there are just so many opportunities and doors just keep opening and we've talked about that mm -hmm. on this show. Yeah. Um, I am curious to learn more. So obviously you guys both did the Disney College program. Um, what made you want to continue working with Disney post program? Oh, I gotta think. Especially in this capacity, like yeah. staying in the program space. I loved the possibilities with Disney. There was just, the company was so much bigger than what I realized when I came on my program. So knowing that, you know, I started off in park operations and I loved it. Like I thought I was gonna be the next vice president of Animal Kingdom. If you would have asked me like when I first you started, that was my like absolute goal. And then I loved my college program when they had uh, programs champions become a thing. That was, I was program like, champions. Yeah, program champions. That's absolutely mm -hmm. a thing. I have no idea what that is. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, the rollout where leaders are allowed to kind of mentor and help college program participants on a more elevated level because you have your rep or you have your leaders in your area, mm -hmm. but then they have champions throughout the parks and the resorts who will kind of reach out. I'm not gonna lie, I worked mainly with my direct cast members just because it was a little bit easier. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, but what we're doing is just helping answer questions, kind of guide you, mentor the college program participants throughout it. And then I would like go to speaking sessions. So like whether they had it at Epcot or going to Flamingo Crossing, just speaking on panels and giving tips, tricks and advice. Yeah, so cool. I genuinely loved it and I knew I was very passionate about the college program. Um, I tried to always have a voice and I was never shy about my voice. So if I could, uh, I'd be like, fight for my CPs, I would absolutely do it. So once I feel like realized I could do more with them, yeah. I was like, how do I tap into this world? Yeah. And all the you know ducks fell in a row and I ended up here, so I can't complain. And to <laughs> yeah. confirm, there are still program champions. Yes, today, there right? are. They are that. alive and well, and they're, they're doing oh their thing. God. They're taking, they actually expanded where now they're taking them backstage tours and stuff like that wow. where they can so you'll oh. now some uh programs can i get a backstage tour if i can go then yes okay. <laughs> yeah. like, that's the rule so, yeah. that's the next engagement <laughs> <laughs> whoa <laughs> you want to mention <laughs> we're going to i yeah. love the spook house so yes spook house i call it the spook house it's so nice you mean spook mansion the spook <laughs> i mean i just got school and i was like wow mansion is a house <laughs> you made that a home it's a home. Yeah, my spook home. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Filled with happy home. home. Yeah. Aww. That was a very happy haunt. It was a good time. <laughs> yeah. So, Maya, what did you major in? So, I'm currently majoring in digital media with a focus on game design. Wow. Nice. Yeah. There's Disney experiences. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is connected. Yeah. It's true. It's true. <laughs> okay, wait. So, what kind of games do you like to design or want to design? Um, so the kind of games that I want to design are more of like choice matter, lore heavy, dialogue heavy, because I my focus is uh, narrative design and level design. Um, I really like level design, but creative writing is my minor. Ooh. So I also kind of want to focus into writing a lot. Did you take any other learning sessions when you were at Flamingo Crossings Village? I took a lot. So okay. Sadly, because my program was only three months long or four months long, okay, I wasn't able to get my good graduate. Oh, you were oh, close. Man. I got um, my doctorate. Yeah, I got okay. a doctorate. Okay. Can you talk to us a little bit about what Goofy graduate? So Goofy graduate is if you get a hundred learning hours, hundred credit learning hours. Okay, and it's like usually it's two uh, two hours per class. Sometimes wow. it's shorter depending on the class. Um, and then doctorate, which is what I got, was fifty hours. Wow, and. Sometimes I went in like sick to get these things with masks. Wow. Just, oh, you were dedicated. Yeah. I was because I missed a few of the ones I'd signed up for. 
And if I hadn't missed those, I wouldn't have been coming as sick. Uh, but okay. uh, yeah, they were really fun. I enjoyed them. In the beginning, like I, I was going to like every single one. Like really? and yeah. I, since I didn't live at Flamingo, I was driving and it was a Oh, lot. so you could even, even though you dedication. live off campus, you could yes. still go. So yeah, yeah. I just couldn't go to the Flamingo Crossing resident only ones, which oh, okay. sounded pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. But some of my favorite classes, uh, most of the time Imagineers would come in and that was really cool. They were my favorite. Anytime I saw like Imagineers coming, I'd be like, oh, that one, I'm registering <laughs> now. Um, so one time an Imagineer came who worked on Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind. Whoa, oh I gosh. really liked that one. They usually tell their entire journey, like how they, Came with Disney. Like I think he he was on the college program and okay. he was on the jump cruise. Okay. Um, so I thought that was cool. Her skippers. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was cool. But my favorite one was actually um, I can't remember if he was Imagineer, but he came in and he showed his portfolio for character mm. design okay. and how it first started when he was just applying and like they rejected him and like gave him advice and he kept using that advice and how it changed to be like more what they wanted and then they hired him and I thought it was really cool and I was really inspired. It's like when I went home, I was like, okay, let me fix my portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to ask, you guys are kind of like the first group of people who are going back to campus after like a decade and a half, -ish, wow. give or take. Yeah. Change. Wow. Okay, but regardless, so you guys are like the first group of people going back. You're kind of like pioneers in that sense. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel? It was whirlwind. So if you would have told me like a year ago, even six months ago, like this is what you'd be doing. You'd be bringing the college program recruiters and reps back to campus. I'd be like, oh, that's so cool. Who's doing that? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I just, it's such an incredible feeling to be so passionate about a program and be able to tell people, hey, like, this is what it is and this is what you can be or whatever you think you want to be, you can be it here, so. I mean, it's wild for me, too, because I didn't even know about the college program and, like, I wasn't even sure if it was the right fit for me. And then here I am promoting it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> here it goes. See, but that's such a cool story to be like, I literally didn't even know that this existed and I'm here being like, you need to join, like, yeah. A full, like that, I don't know, like it's a like a walking testimonial almost, about it. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's really we dramatic. Really <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Or did the Your testimonial program. will inspire generations. But it probably will, though. Really like, that's will. not even an exaggeration. Mm -hmm. Dude, if I cool. met people like you, if I was on campus and I met people like you and you were telling me about like the Disney College program, I'd be like, I'm sorry, but these ladies are so cool. I will do anything. Yes. Like, yeah, like, like, what do you do? What you do? <laughs> Parking. <laughs> the dead silence when you say parking, they're like, but parking is so cool. It's so fun. I, I only got to cool. Yes. I, I, did no no I only got to shadow it for like a couple hours. But when I tell you, I had a great time. I was like, this way, stop. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you you got got like your I, did, no, I, got I love the trams, yes. bro. I. On my last day, I was like, can I just be on the trams all day? And they oh, let me. Yeah. And I got to shut down the tram. Like, bro, when I turned the thing off, I was like sobbing. Oh, it was no. so sad. Cause, Cause I was just like, oh, it's over. Dude, it's that's over. like yeah. the end of like a coming of age movie where you're like, yeah. all right, the end of my program. Turning <laughs> the so key. Sad. That makes sense. The tram shuts down. <laughs> I would have cried too. Dang, I'm yeah. gonna cry now. <laughs> See, I got lucky. I didn't have to cry. Cause I knew I was coming right back. Oh, no. But I graduated. Oh, no. When I was feeling, yeah. we were going around the five mile power U-turn and I was like, this is my last five mile power Oh. And I was like, oh, I was like, don't do that, guys. The guests are like, what is wrong? Like, they don't know, they don't know. She is having a tough day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I like what you said where you're like, I wasn't sad because I knew I was coming right back. Yeah. Like, yeah. You period. Yeah, like, but I don't have the, the trams point. anymore. <laughs> Girl, you can still go on the trams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just but I don't get to talk on the tram. You can still on. Parking lot skipper. Yeah. Park oh, I love that parking lot yeah. skipper. Yeah, no. Oh. It's just one of those things where I was just so excited to know I was coming back and yeah. just be a part of the next step. And very sad to leave the mansion behind. I was like, oh, but I knew there was so much more to come and going into a new, new role because I did custodial at that time. And I was like, oh, I'm going from like working in attraction to custodial <laughs> like this. I was like, I just know I'm going to learn so much. And I don't care what anybody says, custodial, what? They gave oh me a key God. and it opened so many doors, literally and <laughs> yeah. figuratively because I met so many different people in yeah. custodial mm -hmm. because everyone's like, oh, like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, custodial. Do, 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 yeah, do. So it. I just, I think it was just amazing and knowing that you could just do one thing, but once again, it opens so many doors. Mm -hmm. I think their costumes are so cute. I know. Like the little yes. jumpers, like I want to wear that. Shout out to Wait, custodial, honestly. Did you learn how to do the little drawings? The water art? Yeah. So fun I fact, 
And it's so bad to say this. I could not do water art. I could sketch and stuff, but it's so it's so much harder than it looks. No, I but believe that. I was the leader in charge of water art. So oh. I would help people get uh, trained for mm. water art, which was really fun. And I made their little licenses when they got approved and oh, things like that. License. But yeah, they have little licenses. So if that. you don't have a water art and you got <laughs> different characters, everything. some of them were so passionate about like water art that we had like, I think six cast members. You could just name a Disney character and they could just no draw them way. up. They would take requests. Like the talent. It, it blew my mind. Even like different variations of Mickey and Minnie and Goofy wow. and Donald with like, oh, it's 4th of July. Let's give them like the little American hat or like, hey, this celebration is coming up. Let's throw this. Well, I was like, how do you oh do that? Gosh. Okay. Idea for learning opportunities or backstage pass things. <gasps> um, learning water art. That, Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would have signed up for that. That'd be yeah. cool. Because it, it does look hard. Because, like, when you're in the parks and you're watching, like, the custodial staff do the water art where they're, I don't, what do they use? Like, a mop? A, broom, like a, broom, a broom, but a it's broom. tied at the end like a paintbrush. Yes, mm -hmm. and like a paintbrush. And they're, like, freehanding it. It's, mm -hmm. so cool. it's like, how do you do that? It takes a lot of practice. Yeah. I promise you. My favorite is, like, during the summer. And also, the weather plays an effect in it. Because if it's too oh. hot, you have to make sure you get it done before things start oh. drying up. But it's like truly an art wow. that comes to it. So like when I say you see them practicing and things, I'm like, wow, like... Okay. Let's, it's a game. I, Let's do this. It's an extreme. I'd be story. so embarrassed if I like started making it and the guests were like watching and then like halfway in, I'm like, <laughs> Goofy's looking a little lopsided. He's looking a little <laughs> goofy. Like I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> just not go, finished. She's fine. Like, <laughs> it's abstract. <laughs> Listen, but it's what Savan was saying. Like luckily, if you're in Florida, you know, it'll probably yeah, just evaporate really fast. Like, no one take pictures. Over. Yeah. <laughs> no paparazzi. <laughs> Please don't. You're look. like sitting on it. You're like, no, no flash photography. Like, like, yeah. I get my water. I'm getting my water. <laughs> <laughs> spill like your bucket. <laughs> just, it's okay. Oh no. Go ahead. <laughs> Wipe it out. There's a fire. <laughs> what happened? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. But some characters, it was really fun because if you had, oh my gosh, it was like Jack Jack because you know he disappears and stuff like that. So you see different parts of him like disappearing oh, and going things. That's cool. Yeah. You're like creative with it. Mm -hmm. Love mm -hmm. that wow. magic. Would that be like an assignment you'd pull, like, go do water art? That, or if it was just your area was clean and you have free time, and it's like, hey, I'm just go okay. do some water art sessions. Nice. Have fun. Enjoy. Make magic. Oh, okay. Make magic. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Savan, you talked about starting on the college program, mm -hmm. moving into operations. Now you're a recruiter. Talk about, like, that transition all the way through. How, is there anything that you learned from your college program that you took through each step of the way and that you're still taking with you right now? Absolutely. It was definitely the networking. Okay. Because I genuinely feel like doing my college program, it opened doors to people that I never would have naturally met on my own. Yeah. Um, I met a couple of the VPs and GMs just because they were like, oh, you're a college program participant. We want to know what your experience is like. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm happy to share that with you. <laughs> yeah. So I got to meet like different proprietors and like people were happy to tap in and they're the question that I always got was, what's next? What okay. do you want to do next? Mm -hmm. And so when I was like, I want to be a leader, like I think that'd be really cool. I see what my leaders do. So I always had someone who was happy to invest in me and take those opportunities and help me apply them and get me to my next step. So what I've always taken with me is, take the next person with you, take the next person I with you. That. So no matter where I'm going, I want to take the next person to their next step. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. that. I try. You hear that, Maya? <laughs> yeah. She's going to take you all the way through. Yeah, even on the college program, it's the same way with networking. Like I, I reached out to a few people um, on LinkedIn that are Disney, like they work for Disney. And you just say you're, you are a Disney college program participant and they, they immediately get back to you. I'm just like, yeah. Before it's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel, I mean, I really like what you said about like take the next person with you because um, I feel like that's such a theme at Disney. Like people are so willing to help. And especially like you said, like if you've done the college program, everyone at Disney knows what yes. the college program is. And like everyone at Disney loves our college program participants. So like as soon as you say that, that's like, yeah, they're, like they're the, excited. Yeah. They, yeah, they they're like, oh, they were like sending me like internship yeah. stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. like, thank you. I didn't even ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're very nice. Literally. I think the college program is like such a good place to, you know, you're just a hard worker. You've learned time management skills. You're independent. Those characteristics like those are you as a human, but they're also going to shape you whether you stay here with the company or you go do something else outside yeah. of the company. Like those attributes and traits are established kind of here and, you know, you get to see it flourish. And so I love to hear that from you both, too. Yeah. OK. What are you both most looking forward to about being Disney programs representatives? I think the traveled because each campus is just so 
different. And I'm just excited to see the people and meet them and learn what their goals and passions are. Because like I said, Disney wasn't always the top of mind to me because I didn't really know what Disney was besides our parks and the resorts. So, and you know, a movies of course, but I was like, what can I actually do? And then when you learn about our company, so learning, oh, like I want to be a lawyer. Well, guess what? Disney also like yeah. has lawyers and oh, <laughs> yeah. I want to travel and work with sports. Well, great. We have ESPN. Mm -hmm. Like there's yeah. just so much that we have that you wouldn't even think about. So I love to just learn the goals, ambitions and be like, hey, yeah. Disney college yeah. program. Yeah. 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 Uh, for me, I would say back when I applied for the program and for part time, full time, uh, they only had the people who are there for full-time, part-time on my campus. So I didn't really know anything about the college program. Gotcha. So I'm excited to just like let students know that like, hey, like there's a college program. Like this is what it's about. You should come do it. Yeah. So. And it's probably a little different too. Like if I'm a student, right, and I talk to a recruiter, yeah. there's a little bit. It's going to be naturally yeah. some nerves, right? But if I'm like, hey, Maya, you're in my class. Like, yeah. Can you tell me about your experience? Like that peer-to-peer -peer relation is going to be for sure so realistic, so real, and just really exciting to see. So, mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, you're both so approachable. It's like yeah. I said. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If I met you we're on trying. campus, I'd be like, whatever you want, I'll sign up. <laughs> you guys are so cool. Is the paper. Yeah. Let's do and this. Give me a pen. Paper and pen. <laughs> yeah. You said opportunities at Disney. All right. <laughs> so, so you said Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said Mickey Mouse. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, where are you from, Sivan? Ooh, I'm from Jackson, New Jersey. So oh. I was a Jersey girl through and through, but I did go to college in New York. So okay. um, shout out to St. John's. Shout out to St. John's. Invite me to campus. Alone. Oh, but <laughs> I was like, I miss them. Yeah. And Maya? I'm from Margate, Florida, which is down by Broward. So okay. three hours down, but I live by Orlando for college. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you guys aren't both really from the central Florida, Orlando area. What do you guys like to do around this area when you're have free time, not school, not working? The parks. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. parks. I like going to the movies. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I love our parks. They're so much fun. I love to go there with my friends mainly. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm not gonna lie, let's I'm having a solo DAC day. If I'm going to Animal Kingdom by myself, okay. I'll bring a little book. I'll like oh, yes. chill in a little area. Cause mm -hmm. it's nice and you can find so many quiet spots at Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's where I like to just relax. Yeah. But if it's I, a park. <laughs> oh yeah, and the food, the food there is really good. Mm -hmm. But if I'm just gonna like do a self-care day, I'm probably going to the movies. I'm not gonna lie, Disney's been pumping them out lately. So yeah, they have just mm -hmm. rewatching Soul in theaters, which is oh. cleansing. Oh. So oh, I didn't know it was back in theaters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But usually I, if I go to the parks by myself, usually it's studying. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so far I've been studying at every pizza place on like the parks, but the one at Epcot is like a reservation one. Oh. It's a fancy one. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to make oh, that. Oh, is it in Italy? Yeah. So I'm not sure if I can get a pizza They have a pizza one window sometimes. Maybe. I'll sit outside. They make pizza at the Connections Cafe, <gasps> That's right? true. Yeah. Yeah. I can do Connections. But if yeah. Italy's right there, you yeah. kind of you want are pizza from Italy. in Italy. <laughs> yes, I'll just order the, No, I'll order the pizza from Connections, and then I'll walk over to Italy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, by the activities. <laughs> Get your well, yeah. setting done, and then do a little treat at yeah. in Italy. A little treat. A little <laughs> treat after <laughs> I study. <laughs> so, if you guys had any advice for people considering to apply to the college program, Savan from a recruiter perspective, Maya from a student perspective, what would you say? Um, well, the application is open, but yeah. if you are going to apply, take your time when reading the questions. Um, I don't know about you, but even when I was doing it, sometimes like I don't read things the right way the first time. So just make sure you're reading it and then put your resume in there. Please. Yes. Um, yes. Please. When Definitely. You, yeah, when you get invited into an interview with the recruiter, it's more of a conversation, like how we're all talking. And they really just want to know about you, your interests, passions, goals, and kind of match you to a role that'll best fit your skill set. So just be honest, be transparent. I know they were like, do you like swimming? And I was like, nope, I'm not a hero like that. <laughs> me too. Do not me put too. me in a pool. Ah. Um, when you stand in uh, knee deep water, I was like, no. Mm. Oh. Love the ocean, love swimming, but I'm not saving anybody. I'm sorry. I can't. Yeah. It's well, going to put you in what you want, right? Like what you like. It's going to try to. So okay. like you have to be very open to any role that you get placed in. Um, so once you get matched to your role, you'll kind of find out after you accept and you have seven days to accept your offer. So make sure you complete all the steps. But um, once you accept, you find out closer to when your program is supposed to start, what your role is going to be. And truly every role that you can possibly be placed in yeah. gives you the skill sets that you'll need to be not only successful, but gain those transferable skills both uh -huh. personally and professionally. So there's no 
bad role at Disney, truly, is whatever you make of it, just like any life experience. For me, I would say just apply. Like, if there's no harm in applying and then realizing you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Just just apply. Um, I know for me, at least, I'm more of an introvert, so when I see all those cast members at Disney, I'm like, they're so extroverted, they're so bubbly, like, I can't do that, I can't just talk with anybody, and what if I don't know the answer? Like, what do I do? And honestly, when you get on that program, you'll realize that like there's so many leaders that will help you with things you don't understand and you don't know what to do. So it's not as scary as it might seem and that you really should just apply. Yeah. yeah. And just to piggyback off, even if you realize you can't do it and you say no, that doesn't mean you can't come in the future. So just Love go for that. it. Yeah. yeah. All about timing. Yeah. We talked about Disney's that. Disney's not going to go away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Disney's not going to go away. We always be here. Yeah. Right here, yeah. girl. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about misconceptions about the college program and dispel maybe some of those myths and also maybe address some things that like people might be unsure about. What have you guys noticed are common misconceptions about the program? Oh, so for my program, I think a lot of it was people think they have more free time that they do. Like the Mm. program goes much quicker than you expect. So if you have things you want to do, like a little Disney bucket list or something, find some friends or don't be afraid to do it alone. Okay. Um, I think also people have that misconception that you're coming to Disney, so you're playing all day. No. Yes. You're going to work. Like (laughs) It's a job. job. You're going to have to work. You need that full availability. So just realizing, yes, you are here to work. We want you to have fun, but it's what you make of it. So like, come go to work, do your job, communicate with your leaders, make your friends. But then when you have that free time or those off days or those learning opportunities, please take advantage of them because your program is going to blink it up. It's going to be gone. Yeah, for me, I definitely wish that I had hung out with my friends more because I didn't live at Flamingo. Uh, It was a lot harder for me to get together with them outside of work. Um, So I had always like push it like, oh, next week, next week we'll go to Waffle House. (laughs) But um, (laughs) yeah, so I wish I had done that more. Uh, But... My misconception would probably be that it's the same thing as part-time, full-time, mm-hmm. and it's not. There's definitely a difference. There's learning opportunities. You're going to have different hours, set hours, and there's just so much more that Disney offers for college program. Mm-hmm. And for me, at least, because I knew I wasn't coming with my sister, it was just going to be me, um, I thought that when I got to the college program, I'd be by myself. Like, mm. like even oh, even though I'm gonna go work with all these other people who are on the college program, they're not gonna want to hang out outside. Like, we're just gonna talk and work, and that's it. But no, everyone is so friendly, and they're like, "Let's go to the parks!" Like, it's it's just really nice and really welcoming. So that's just something that I thought, and then it flipped when I got here. Yeah, that's yeah, true. And that must be. Because you were going to come with your sister, right? Yes. You know this person. They know you, like everything. But then you found community, mm-hmm. too. Are you still friends? I am. So yeah. actually, yeah, I'm, I'm still in all of their group chats. Aww. And I'm just like sending them reels like, oh, my gosh, this thing about parking showed up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, like they'll be talking about their shifts. And I'm just like, I'm going to come visit you guys and ride yeah. on your trams. <laughs> I love that. No, I met my best friends in my college program. Aww. Really? Yeah. So like, I was like, one of them lives in California. One of them is still here. Like, mm-hmm. So we hang out as often as we can and Aww. I was like hopefully I get to go to California this year to go visit her she came <gasps> last week and we actually went to Magic Kingdom so it was no a good time way. Mm-hmm. oh I love that and we talk about that too I, I feel like we've been talking about that on the show like the Disney College program is where you can meet your best friends your lifelong friends so just exemplifies that I love that yeah if you guys could go back in time what is one thing you would have done differently on your program? And then what is one thing where you were like, yes, I nailed that. That was such a good decision that I made. So I already kind of mentioned this, but for me, it'd be hanging out with some of my friends more, even though mm-hmm. I'm still in Orlando, so I could definitely go see them. Mm-hmm. But you know, the after shifts, like fun stuff, like I definitely wish I had done that more. Um, what I think I did nail though was Snatching those treat shifts, those party shifts. Oh, Bro, I, I did three Halloween ones and one Christmas one. And I I didn't know any other people in parking who did them as a CP. And so I really worked hard to grab those and they were so much fun. I'm How so cool. glad that I did those. So that was that was fun. So you worked in parking, but you still got to do those treat shifts at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween yes. Party? So the party shifts are available to pretty much all of the Magic Kingdom cast, if, I'm, if wow. I think so. But sometimes like a cast member doesn't, um, can't make the shift. And so on like a group chat or something, they'll be giving the shift away. And so 
I'll be like, me, me, me. Oh. And so they give me the shift. I go costuming. I get my costume. I get all done up with my little oh. bat. His name was uh, Vincent Batatui. The third. Oh. He, the third. Yeah, the third. Okay, because the every, third. Time, every time I did a shift, he would increase the number. Oh. <laughs> he was being reincarnated. Um, <laughs> so that was really fun. I, I only worked one of the Christmas ones because okay. I, I got sick. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. R.I.P. Yeah, sure. I love the party shifts. So I love them so much. Being a mansion maid and working the Halloween <gasps> parties was my favorite thing. But I actually liked working the parade more than I working in the, the house. Cause That's my favorite parade. Like They spooked us out for the house, which was fun. Like Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But the Booty You Parade has a special place in my mm -hmm. heart. And I love the ballroom dancers. Like, me too. love. Oh. So just seeing them come down the street, I'm like, yeah. This is I want to be a grave digger. The <laughs> Booty is my favorite parade. I mm -hmm. love that parade. Mm -hmm. Hands down, best one yeah. we have. No one can change my mind. I would, I would listen to that sound. Any of the the party per, like parades, I would listen to that soundtrack as I drove to work and be like, Boop. getting hyped yes. up. <laughs> Gonna pass out these treats. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 well, your hand was hot from holding that thing. Yeah. Uh, satellite was my favorite though, because you'd walk as like a mob down Main Street, and be like, get out. What is <laughs> satellite? satellite? Satellite. It's called satellite. Basically, satellite. You would like. You start by handing out the wristbands, okay. and then once all the wristbands are like distributed, you wherever you, I was in Tomorrowland, um, you start in Tomorrowland and you stand at the exit or the entrance, and you're like wristbands, wristbands. If they don't have one, they cannot come in here, and mm -hmm. you keep coming closer, and closer until everyone's oh. on Main Street. You can't pass, can't pass until we're all the way at the front of the park, oh. so that only party people are inside. Whoa. But I liked it because I felt like I was like a mom. Yeah, <laughs> like you're like a, a bouncer. Yeah, yeah. like the you most exclusive club. skill sets. For yeah. me. <laughs> it was so fun. I loved it. Um, um, something that I would have changed on my program, honestly, I regret it and I don't at the same time. Okay. Um, I was in one of the classes and it was a series class about leadership, and I missed the very last class. And I love my roommates, shout out to you guys. But um, I missed my class because they wanted to do a beach day. And I was like, well, can we go after my class? And they were like, we gotta get there early. And I was like, okay. So I missed my class to go with them to the beach. So core memory, we had an amazing beach day, like honestly, and I never got my masters for it. And I'm very <laughs> upset about that. So oh. that's the one thing I regret. No. Cause if I, I like, tell me that I've heard this story. <laughs> I'm still mad about it. I was like, I love them. It was a great time. Like we still have photos from that day. Like great, but I never got my masters. So that's the one thing I do. <laughs> I got mine. I was like, hospitality. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like pinning them up on my wall. Yeah. Um, here's the pot. I put it in if I had it, but it's fine. <laughs> hey, you're doing like some talking now. thing in the the like learning opportunities. You might get your mini masters. Ooh. I'm gonna have to because you should go try to do that. Yeah. It's just a missing yeah. little spot, but it's okay. You can have an Aww. honorary degree. Like you know how some schools will give like celebrities or like people who've like done great yeah. work, but like didn't graduate from that school, like honorary doctorates. This could be your honorary, you like you're on you campus. Like, like I feel like that's leadership. <laughs> right? you, it's honorary. I'm yeah. trying. Yeah. 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 Like, I have all my accolades in my wall besides yeah. that one right yeah. spot yeah. right there. <laughs> it's okay. Um, something that I nailed, ooh. That's funny, cause I'm very much like, oh, I don't know, I'm just here. But <laughs> I think it was, just the networking piece because I had an opportunity during my college program to sit on a round table, which to this day, I don't know how they picked me, why they picked me, but they chose or handpicked a handful of CPs from Magic Kingdom to go speak with the vice president at the time so of wild. Magic Kingdom. And he was amazing. And I told him about my college program and what I enjoyed, what I didn't enjoy, because let's be honest, life, like, life is both. And once I got done, he gave me his business card and he's like, well, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to be a leader. And then he was like, okay. And I said, well, this is the reasons why I want to be a leader. And then he introduced me to uh, an outdoor vending proprietor who is such an amazing woman. She now works for Disney Cruise Line, Ronke. I love her. <gasps> Ronke! But, yes, I love, love her. We love Ronke. And oh, I love her. She sat me down. She was like, you want to be a leader? Okay, let's, what are your options? Here's okay. plan A, here's plan B, what's mm -hmm. plan C? And we sat there and that's when I learned about the Disney Hospitality Leadership mm -hmm. Program. Okay. And I applied and went through that process. And then my plan B was, you know, moving up the ranks within Disney yeah. and I got the internship. So it just kind of went full. And so I kind of nailed that, wow. like sticking to my guns and just yeah. being honest and and now you're making here. changes yeah wow and that's awesome that like this came from an interaction you had with an executive 
And again, like we talked about this earlier, like how doors will open and people at Disney are so willing to network and just so willing to give you opportunities. And it's like, that's not just like your direct leaders. And that's not just like, you know, people in lateral levels to you. Like this is like, you will meet with executives and they will be like, how can I help you? Like, thank you for doing this program. Like, we're so excited to have you here. And, and then you have a story like that, which is so cool. It still blows my mind. And mm -hmm. luckily I got to cross paths with a lot of these people again, they have that full circle moment. So wow. I'm always just grateful. So, you know, you have a lot of support systems here. So yeah, got to lean on them. I love yeah. that. Savan, Maya, thank you so much for being here today. I know you guys are both excited to get back on campus, how much this work means to you. Before you go, we want to ask you a couple more questions. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Yay. Okay, so these questions come from our followers on at official Disney programs on Instagram. If you're not following already, go follow us. <laughs> um, and the first question comes from Amelia, who asks, do we get complimentary tickets for friends and family? Ooh. So, yes, we do get um, complimentary tickets for friends and family. It's about three, and it's for a certain amount of hours you work. Oh, nice. All right. Second question, Destiny. Thank you. This question was submitted by Jalen, and Jalen wants to know, how do you maximize networking opportunities while on a Disney program? Ooh, I suggest definitely partnering with your leadership teams in your area, as well as the program team, checking out those learning events, because that's where I met a lot of people as well, and just not being afraid to put yourself out there and share your goals, dreams, ambitions. Okay. I say uh, getting to know the Disney program's learning team. Oh. They're definitely good to network with. I love that. Okay, we have one more question. We're gonna round it out here. Here you go, Holly. Okay. Third and final question comes from Reese. Shout out. Reese. Um, favorite thing the program has to offer? Definitely the learnings uh, for me because they're constantly growing and expanding and there's just so many opportunities you could take from them networking wise, inspirational wise, and I just loved it. I also agree because it's almost like, you know, on Disney Plus, they have like behind the attractions yeah. and like the Imagineering story. It's like that, but in person and it's just for you. And it's so exciting. and I really enjoy it. Aww. Also, there's so many ways to learn. It's not just in the classroom setting, like yes. behind the scenes, learning how we make our magic in our parks and resorts and even costuming industry. It's just the fact that you could go and see these things brings mm -hmm. it to life. So lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. We love it. Okay, I know you guys have been looking forward to this next segment, but we are gonna play a little game of this or that. Yeah. Disney edition. Okay. okay. All right, Ready? let's just get into it. Here we go. First one, day at the park or day at the water park? Park. Ooh, I was gonna say water park. Ooh. Just, I, like I said, I like to have a little right book. And, oh, <laughs> not in this weather. This weather, I'm going to the park. Catch me at Animal Kingdom. But <laughs> <laughs> when it's hot, I will, the water parks are just so nice and relaxing. I haven't been in a while, but I do like the water parks. But I would still choose park. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. I feel like people don't know that it gets cold in Florida sometimes during January. So, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Second question: Mickey ice cream bar or Mickey ice cream sandwich? Mickey bar. It's a bar for me because when I went with my family, it was like a tradition that I had to get a bar like okay. at least once during the Mickey day. Mickey bar. She said, it's the bar for me. <laughs> I better be your favorite. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going left at the World Showcase or going right? I'm going to Mexico. We're going yeah, left. Yeah, Mexico left. <laughs> wow. I had to like think about which way was Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where am I staying? Am I in America? Yeah. Then I'm going that way. <laughs> That's not a question. You mean it's only left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. I don't know. It's a debate. Unless you're going to Ratatouille. It's left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch the fireworks or ride attractions? I'm, which park am I at? That's so true. That, it depends on which park I'm at. Ooh. If I'm at Magic Kingdom, I'm watching the fireworks. Okay. If oh, I'm at animal. Epcot, I'm riding the- uh, It's that animal, you're just going on the attraction. Oh, uh, the attack, no. Uh, if I'm at <laughs> Epcot, I'm riding the rides. I was like, I just, Guardians of the Galaxy, next mm. level, I just mm -hmm. have to. Mm. Living with the land? Ooh. Yes. But Guardians, you can't, I don't think there's a, there would be a virtual queue by the time the fireworks are going. No, like I could, I would if my boarding group's the last one of the night. It'd be at close, nine. It'd be really? close to like the fireworks. I don't know. I've never been on. A I'll happily six. miss the fireworks to go right Guardians. <laughs> she said, "I'll happily do it." <laughs> I think I would choose fireworks. Now. Okay. Watching the sunrise at Animal Kingdom or watching the sunset at Magic Kingdom. Sunset. I cannot be up that early. Mm. <laughs> sunrise, just because I love Animal Kingdom. So. Aww. Yeah. Okay, making magical moments or experiencing them? Making the magic. I love seeing people's reactions. I live for the reaction, so oh. it just warms my heart. I'm trying to think. 
probably it's probably making it just because like it makes you feel good and you know you made someone else feel good so it's just like it's like it's so warm i like it i love that firework shows or castle shows Oh, fireworks shows, hands down. Oh, I, oh that's so painful I've for me. Never watched a castle show. Really? Mm. My, you gotta take Savon with you. She's your recruiter. I know. How? how? I checked it once when I was opening the treehouse one morning and I was watching them practice, but I, I just really like our fireworks and I don't like standing for long periods here of time. We, go. So. we have a bonding opportunity oh, this right is so here. Hard because <laughs> for me, almost any show at Epcot, like, gets me emotional so mm. for me harmonious harmonious was my baby so i loved harmonious and that one it's beautiful but that one had semi projections so like it's not castle but um i think i think we have to just go with fireworks mm-hmm. okay fireworks the original. Girlies. okay buying merchandise or buying park snacks oh. snacks i like to eat <laughs> i was like i will look at something and be like did i really need that and like i won't regret it i'm gonna keep it but I never regret eating meals, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say merchandise. Ooh. Okay, okay. All right, last one. This one's gonna be really hard. Applying for the Disney College Program or not applying for the Disney College Program? Change your life, apply for the Disney apply. College Program. Apply. That's the only correct answer. Yeah. She said change your life, mm-hmm. apply now. You heard it here yeah. first. <laughs> Second and third. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that is all we have time for today. I'm so sad because I feel like I could really sit here and talk to you guys for like 17 days straight. Um, but, unfortunately, yeah, <laughs> but unfortunately, we don't have time for that. But thank you so much for coming and just sharing your experience, your advice um, for any campuses that you're going to be visiting, for people who are listening. I hope they look for you. <laughs> but just thank you again. This was so much fun. Thanks for having us. Yeah, oh my gosh. It was fun. so much fun. And to our college and university students back at home, be on the lookout on your campuses because you may be seeing Disney programs representatives or Disney college program recruiters on a campus near you. That is a wrap on this episode, but come back for episode four because we have the Walt Disney World ambassadors. Hey! So we will see you next time. 